Hi everybody. Uh, I've had a lot of questions about software lately. Uh, is it worth it? My Sonet? How am I going to learn it? So we're going to try and keep up with videos and we have in-store classes if you guys can make those. Uh, I know some of you are not exactly around the corner so we're going to try and keep this going. So today I thought I would start with the most common process. The, the process that I put every design that I stitch out through. And I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, so let's give it a shot. Here we go with a file. This is a design that I purchased from a common site that everybody uses. Uh, so prior to this, I set the, the defaults to my computer so that when I bring up an embroidery file like this VP3 file, it knows that the software that I want to use is my Sonet. So if I come to my downloads to this, this design, I can double click it and it says, oh, Beth wants to play with software. Here we go. Here's the design, it's lovely. Um, my design is in a 360 by 200 hoop. And so I don't really need to do anything with that. And I'm going to click on this little bit here, edit design. And so that's going to open up the stitch editor. We used to have the modify tab in Premiere and prior uh, versions of software. And that's where this stuff would get done but here it's now changed to stitch editor. Here's my design, it's still in the hoop. I could change the hoop if I needed to. I have my design panel with all of my colors um, on the side there. I can go one step at a time and look at how my design is going to stitch out. If I were going to try out colors, say I didn't like this mint green color and I wanted to change it to be something else, I would do it in this green. Um, but I digress. Let's bring, oh, bring it back to where it was. There's my whole design. And we're, what we came here for was this modify tab up here. We're gonna click on that. And we're gonna come to Stitch Optimizer because that's where the magic happens. So Stitch Optimizer improves the stitch out of the embroidery, both in speed and in quality. So it's going to smooth out the rough edges, get rid of the uh, thick parts that we don't need, just make everything stitch out and lay out beautifully. So here I go, I'm gonna click on it. 8,279 stitches, unnecessary stitches, were removed from this embroidery. So I've actually seen this particular design stitch out. We used it for a class. Everybody had duck cloth and canvas and not one person had um, a less than stellar stitch out. It's just lovely. So now that my stitches have been optimized, I can close the window and it brings me back to where I was. Here's my design, but now it's been optimized. Now it's gonna stitch out uh, lovely and perfect. And I can come over here to file and I can save my design. I can put it in my, my designs or if I was ready to stitch it out, I would come to export and I would change it to a VP3 format because that's the one we want to stitch out. And I have color sort here. Color sort will possibly change the order that your colors stitch out. And the point of that is to reduce your efforts so you don't have to uh, rethread maybe as many times. But, and that's a nice idea, but if there are appliques involved, if it's a design that is an in the hoop process, you don't want the steps changed. So I'm going to actually unclick that. It's not so much a big deal when it's just a standard embroidery, but it's my habit. So now I'm going to come and hit OK. And now I can save it to my designs. If I had 
an Epic or one of the Wi-Fi enabled machines, I could put it right in my Sonic Cloud and then it would appear on screen and stitch out. If I have a different type of machine, like say a Topaz and I use a USB, I can export it and I could choose my um, drop down of my USB and then I would bring the design into the machine that way. So that's it, my friends. That's all I have for you today. I do this with absolutely every design, whether it's one from a uh, reputable company, a designer, a Viking, or even if I make the design myself, I still go through this exact process absolutely every time. So give it a try. Uh, if you like our video, give us a thumbs up share, share, share. Uh, we'd love to hear feedback and comments. Uh, and I guess that's it. So keep stitching.